Hi, Virgo. Welcome back. So Virgo, this is going to be your October you versus them reading. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you might be connecting to. Um, keep in mind, it's a general reading, so you can um, switch the roles if needed. Um, also, because it's general, this could resonate with an intimate person in your life, but it can also be a family member, friend, coworker. Keep an open mind, okay? Um, either way, I hope that it resonates. I'm labeling these October readings, but truthfully, time is malleable, so some of you, this will resonate past, present, or future. Um, so let's go ahead and see, Virgo. So we have the second house here being highlighted, okay, um, Taurus energy for some of you. This is all about assets, your material world, possessions, finance, um, worthiness, luxuries, you know. So you might be really focused into the aesthetics of life during this time frame. Some of you might be coming out of your birthday season, so certainly... You know, looking good, feeling good, trying to juju yourself up. Um, but that it looks like that's a primary focus as well for October, uh, at least within this connection. Your overall energy is the Four of Swords, Virgo. So this is all about healing. This is all about taking time out for yourself. Um, you know, giving yourself um, the things that make you feel luxurious. Putting yourself in that energy. Um, you know doing things for yourself, Virgo, and uh, taking that time out to rest when needed. Now, the person you're dealing with got three cards, so I um, only wanted one, but I'll take them all. Six of Cups, Three of Wands, and Nine of Cups, which talks about support, preparation, and blessings. So this person's energy is um, uh, very supportive, either of you or they're being supported by universe uh, to prepare them to go into another cycle. And I feel like this person may get something that, you know, makes them feel very satisfied during this time or they're coming from this place of acknowledging their blessings and having gratitude for whatever they have going on in their life. And in so by doing that, it helps pull them out of the past energy and push them forwards toward the future, towards the future energy. So interesting start. Um, let's go ahead and see what the recent past energy is, Virgo, leading up to this moment. Recent past energy. So I'm going to go through the recent past. I'm going to go into perception of each other, genuine emotions, hopes, and future energy. So recent past for my Virgos. Recent past energy, what led up to this? You have the Nine of Wands here. The Three of Pentacles, the Empress, and Judgment in the Reverse. All right, Virgo. So I heard tempers may have flared in the past energy, okay? And or you might have been feeling just temperamental, period. You know, on the defense, feeling like you needed to defend yourself. That type of energy. Um, I feel like you've come out of that already for a lot of you into this more cooperative energy. Okay, what do we need to do? Let's start looking towards the future. Enough of that. You know, getting more grounded, getting more patient with yourself or with others and releasing the judgment. Okay, whether that's judgment of yourself or judgment of people you're dealing with or this person for some of you, you know, this can also represent indecisiveness. So indecisiveness may have played a part into why you felt, you know, protective or guarded, you know, whether that was you not really knowing what you want or not being able to convey it, or maybe the person you're connected to. So it's a bit of a mixed bag, you know, coming into the now energy of like, you know, feeling more nurturing or wanting to be more nurturing, going to more future planning, but then at the same time being a bit indecisive in the energy, okay? So let's see what the person you are connecting to has going on in the recent past energy. Virgo, person you are dealing with. Recent past energy. Five of Wands in the reverse. Man, 
<laughs> I got a lot to say. Um, the Justice card. Interesting. Okay. This person may, you know, have wanted to keep the peace if there has been conflict. Like I said, if tempers were flaring. I feel like this person may have been suppressing some anger. You know, trying to keep the peace, trying to keep the balance. But it, but in the sa at the same time, um, they are kind of like a pressure cooker themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, on the surface, maybe wanting to be very balanced and peaceful. But underneath that, a lot of internal dialogue or internal conflict that's possibly boiling um, within this person. Okay? Or at least in the past, that's how it was, is what I'm feeling. And it's stemming from a place of like being emotionally confused, you know, and really not sure which way to turn and kind of being of two minds about things, but also trying to keep the balance in their own life. So I feel like they have a mixed bag, you have a mixed bag in the past energy. Um, so let's go into perception then of each other. Now keep in mind, perception is in the eye of the beholder, so it might be your truth, but it may not be their truth. Um, but we'll start there. Man, sorry, my cards are messy today, guys. And then we'll go into the deeper emotions. So perception, Virgo, perception of this connection. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, nice. Nine of Swords. So I feel this energy here, Virgo, of seeing, you know, a lot of potential or wanting to offer that potential to this person, wanting to offer commitment, equal exchange, generosity. For some of you, it could be financially speaking, you have some things coming in that's going to make you feel a little luxurious, you know, <laughs> some money coming in. Um, but for most of you, this is speaking about you know, seeing the growth potential in the connection and at the same time being really stressed out about it, being really in your head about it, you know, doubting it, being insecure about it. It could be especially like at night that you have the most, you know, negative thoughts creep in, you know, and this often happens at night and it's because our brain is a bit tired and so it's harder for us to control thought when we're feeling exhausted and so a lot of people kind of tend to go there with their mind when they're feeling that exhaustion, you know. Uh, but I feel like it's got you on guard. It's got you a little bit skeptical uh, as to what to do about the situation. You know, it's like, do I give it all? And am I going to get it back? And if not, then I'm not going to give anything. And it's like this standoff in your own mind that's happening. And that may be what you need to rest from because I saw split energy here. And now I see split energy here. So... Let's see what this person's perception is, Virgo, of the connection. Nine of Cups. Um, you may have assets tied to this connection uh, because financial uh, messages keep showing up or similar ideas about the material world, if nothing else. Um, and or you both could just be focused on that at the moment. Um, but yeah, the nine of cups is here. They also see the connection as the three of pentacles, which is what you saw in the past. So I feel that, you know, Virgo, this person, it's almost the same exact message I got for you. It's like, they see success, you know, they see this more cooperative energy, the possibility of growing something excuse me, growing something together. And then they also see a headache. They also feel disconnected. They, you know, also feel misunderstood. You know, the negative thoughts may really get to this person, may really get to their confidence, you know? So it's like, um, that could be a deal breaker for this person, for a few of you, you know, if it like, if it, damages their ego or I feel like this person is someone who tends to put their ego first meaning they are care more about like how others view them or <laughs> how you view them more than what they actually feel about the situation and that could be where the internal combustion is coming from or this of two minds type of energy um 
like this person may get, have all these ideas in their head of how things could work and then they kind of disconnect from that and then they, um, you know, lose confidence in it or get insecure about it possibly. But there's something to do with being disconnected from confidence or someone's confidence being an issue, which shouldn't be an issue, but it's showing up as a possible issue between either you or them or both. So let's go into genuine emotion and how you feel towards this connection. So that was kind of surface level. Now we're going to go into the ethereal, the deep. The emotion, the true, genuine emotion here, Virgo. What is the genuine emotion towards this connection? The hanged man, the eight of swords. Emotionally, you have a hard time tapping into what you feel because you're not trusting your own perspective here. Or there's something that you don't know or emotionally you feel uncertain about. It's like you see it for what it is or... You see it from their perspective, but at the same time, you're not sure if they see it from yours. But emotionally speaking, you are going to get clarity and victory over that emotion, okay? Because you have the Ace of Swords here, which is kind of like cutting through the emotional bullshit, so to speak, or emotional confusion, and getting clearer on how you feel during this time frame, and then turning around and not trusting it. Ooh, so it's like a Virgo, you know, you get, you get clear and then you, and then you immediately don't trust your own emotion. So I wouldn't be surprised if trust issues are a problem in relationships for you or that you may attract people with trust issues to you because you don't trust your own emotional self because Maybe you've seen it from someone's perspective in the past and then that ended up, you know, stressing you out <clears throat> or they didn't see yours. And then it's like, I know the truth of how I feel, but I also don't trust how I feel because how I felt in the past didn't point me in the right direction. When in all actuality, you know, how we feel is always pointing us in the right direction. It's just that we ignore it, you know. We we know something emotionally doesn't feel good and we rationalize it in our minds. But our emotions don't lie to us. They tell us, you know, when, when something that we're thinking or doing or participating in isn't lining up with our higher knowing and it shows up in the vibrational form of either negative emotion which is showing you that it's not in alignment or positive emotion which is showing you it is in alignment and don't worry about my dog I can't help it they're crazy so that's kind of where I feel you're at at an emotional level they'll stop in a minute so let's see how you feel emotionally speaking, or I'm sorry, the person you're dealing with, how they feel emotionally. They have the Six of Pentacles here, Queen of Swords, whoa, okay, Nine of Wands, I'm not going to take all of those, we'd be here all day. So I feel like emotionally speaking, you know, this person wants this generosity and they're thinking about it, but they're on the defense. You know, they're just as skeptical, I feel. So I'm getting that skepticism on an emotional level on both sides here, Virgo, where it's like this person wants to give to the connection, but then they overthink it and then they get defensive about it, you know, or they get on guard about it. Yeah, having trouble finding another perspective. So you're almost mirroring each other, you know, uh, in the energies. Hold on a second. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> they weren't going to stop. So anyways, what I was saying, Virgo, is that, you know, this person overthinks it. You know, and then they get a different perspective and then emotionally they become guarded again. This person may also have an issue with trusting their emotions, you know, and letting go of, I feel this person triggers easily or has the ability to trigger pretty easily. Of course, they would not tell anyone that because I feel that they 
want to seem balanced and calm on the surface, but honestly, I think this person has some insecurities going on, okay, because that's come up a few times now about confidence levels. And emotionally speaking, it kind of blocks them from, <clears throat> you know, being as generous as they could be in relationships and or accepting generosity from, from relationships. And it's certainly all tied together, you know. So let's go into hope. Uh, what's your hope then, Virgo? And you have the Knight of Pentacles. So again, you want something worthy of investing time and energy into. And it's like you see that potential in the connection. Or there is a commitment already for a few of you. But it's like you also, you know, someone doesn't want to meet someone halfway sometimes. You know, you also have this split emotion here between, you know, being cooperative and having clarity and then not trusting that. All right. So let's see what this person's hope is, Virgo. The Ace of Pentacles. So they want what you see. You know, this person wants something to plant their roots, you know, to be rooted. <laughs> um, they want commitment. They want also, I keep getting um, financial ties. This person may be someone who focuses a lot on money or you may be that way. You know, this is, um, I heard creme de la creme. <laughs> <laughs> it luxury I don't know if that's your energy or their energy that likes luxury um and nothing wrong with desiring and hoping for that you know but it's like in order to get you got to give you know and that goes not just for finances that goes for any area of your life you have to be open and available to both the giving and the receiving end of it in order to balance the energy out so Let's look at the possible future outcomes. Now, keep in mind that all the future outcomes can be changed with free will, okay? Um, but I'm just giving you a snapshot of what it currently looks like as of now. Eight of Cups. So, there's a moving away here <clears throat> into a happier space. Yes. So, kind of leaving things behind that didn't serve you, Virgo. You know, and walking into a space that's more emotional, fulfilling, fulfilling to you. Um, and it's after a period of maybe just really giving yourself that that blessing, that that reason to relax and to take care of yourself for a moment to get yourself in tune vibrationally. And then when you get rid of this doubt within your own emotion of what you deserve, and that's what I feel it really is because you deserve everything plus some, you know, in all areas of your life, you were sent here a divine being deserving of all. And the only thing keeping you from that is your unacceptance of that uh, thought of that idea of that belief. So and I see that in the uncertainty of your emotion or the not trusting, you know, your intuition and what you know on a core level to be the truth of who you are. So I feel that there is another opportunity coming around here for you um, or you'll be giving one. So if you're going into a more emotionally generous space, you may be more emotionally open and therefore be more giving uh, of your time, of your energy, of your love during this time frame, you know, because it's like you, now that you have it, you want to give it. And to get more of it, you give it, you know, so what you send out, you get back tenfold. So it's nice to be in that space, Virgo, where you're feeling blessed. Yes, you know, <laughs> and um, kind of taking the past lessons with you but in a way that you know is something that you can create a new opportunity with and that's what's coming in so i like that energy let me see what this person's most likely future outcome the three of wands so they had the three of wands right here this person's preparing to leave the past behind okay and come into something that's going to be very satisfying i feel you know and Really, it'll come in a lot faster and easier when they're able to drop 
this emotional guardedness, okay, or this confidence issue or ego, you know, to for lack of a better term. Um, but they have the Three of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Death card, and the Eight of Cups. So this person's walking away from things that no longer serve them. They're going through some massive changes here. Massive uh, overhaul. Could be Scorpio energy for some of you. I feel like they're getting clarity, you know, and, and they're preparing their mind to walk away. You know, and uh, for some of you, it could be this connection, but I don't really feel that. I feel like they're preparing themselves to walk away, you know, from these uh, these lower level emotions of just needing to be everything to everyone or caring so much about the appearance and not so much about what's going on emotionally, you know, because this is a massive spiritual transformation for this person and an emotional transformation, um, not so much as a physical one. Um, but I, I just feel they're getting clarity and they're preparing their mind during this time frame for some big changes. And I think, you know, anything that doesn't serve them, they're going to walk away from that. So if that is you, you know, it could be you for sure. But I feel like this person is going to come into their more creative self, their more happy self, their more free self. The, the genuine confidence, you know, uh, exuding from a space of inspiration. So this person's energy is changing for sure from the past energy of being like all over the place, you know, for lack of a better term, emotionally speaking. And then, you know, getting more thoughtful with their emotions and taking a different approach is what I feel. So I feel this person is being called to take a different approach or they will be taking a different approach. And it's all about worthiness and remembering worthiness, whether that's on your side or their side. And so I feel that that's a pretty strong connected message actually for the both, but take it as it resonates. So Virgo, that's what I have for you. Let me tell you what zodiac signs I have out here. Like I said, I have Scorpio here. I have Leo. I have Sagittarius. I have Aries. I have Libra. Gemini. Taurus. Libra again. Taurus again. So those are the predominant zodiac signs I have, but keep in mind it can be any zodiac sign because it's a general reading. If it resonated with you, awesome. Do let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe. Also, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you want to um, see more about my personal life or chat with me live, you can find me there. Linked in the description box below as well as linked in the about section of my YouTube. Um, either way, wishing you the best. Don't forget to check out my merchandise on your way out. And until next time, my friends, namaste.